Hi, this is Lisa. In this video, I'm going to help you with some of the initial awkward startup issues with Access. If you start Access by itself, I'm starting it from clicking the icon in the taskbar, you're presented with an interesting screen. Basically, the screen is asking you whether you want to open an existing database, go off the recent list and open a database you've recently opened, or create a new database. If you create a new database, your choices are basically a blank database or a database based off of one of these many templates. In my experience, while the templates are very interesting, they're also very complicated to start a new database from, given that there's so much that generally needs to be modified, it's often easier just to create a blank database and create it exactly like you want it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a blank database icon give our database a file name. We'll pretend that we're creating a database for employee information, so we'll call our database employees. And then also we have to click this great big browse button over here and choose a proper location for it, of course, so we know where we've stored our database. I'm going to go ahead and put the database on the desktop just so I can easily find it and click OK. So once we've chosen our location with the browse button and given the file a name, now we can click Create. So in Access, you do have to create a file name, put it in a, and put the file, put the database file in a appropriate location before you can even start working on the first table. That's very different than Word and Excel where you can basically create your documents and then save them at the end. At this point, if this were a real database, we'd name the table, we'd go into table design view and identify some fields, and then we'd start entering some data in table data sheet view. I'm going to go ahead and close this table without saving it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and close the entire database without saving that first table, which takes us back to having access open, but no database open. When I have access open, but there's no database open, I'm back to that original screen that wants to know, do you want to open a database? Do you want to work with a recent database, or do you want to create a new database? And just for kicks and grins, let's create a database from a template just to see what that might be like. Uh, let's go into the education folder here and see what's available. So there's a student database, a faculty database, or a, another student database template. Let's see. Let's just choose one. I'll choose a student's database template. Again, I need to click the Browse button and choose a, an appropriate location. I'll again put the database up on my desktop just so I have an easy location to find. So I've got the student's database and the desktop location. I'm clicking Download, which brings a copy of that database down to my computer and presents me with a screen like this. All right, so this is exactly why I generally don't use the templates. I find that they're very interesting. I like to look at them because this template gave us one, two, three, four, five, six tables, five queries, a handful of forms, a handful of reports, even some macros in one module. But gee, by the time I went through all that and modified it to be the way I wanted, I might be better off just starting the database from scratch and building the objects so that I know exactly how they're supposed to be organized. So I'm going to close this database and show you how I generally open Access and my databases. What I like to do is find the folder that I need that has my student work in or my classroom work in, find the database that I want to open and simply double click it. By finding the database file first and double clicking it, see it goes ahead and opens itself within Access and I don't even have to worry about that opening screen asking me whether I want to open an existing database, a recent database, or work with a new database. I'll close this one more time with the big X in the upper right hand corner and just show that as soon as you can find a database and double click it, it goes ahead and opens directly into Access. That's the easiest and most straightforward way to open a database and start Access. Thank you.